What's going on guys, Tyler here, back with another Elementor video. And in today's video, we're talking about landing pages, which is super exciting because in the recent release of Elementor version 3.1, they actually came out with a feature called landing page templates. And you can actually create landing pages very, very easy with Elementor. So we're gonna talk about it in today's video, and I'm actually gonna go through the process of creating a landing page with one of these templates. So you're gonna wanna stick around and stay watching. But before we jump into the video, I do just want to jump into my computer here and show you I have totally redesigned my website. I've been designing this using Elementor Pro and it really came out really nice. It's what I was trying to do. It looks really fancy and fresh and just kind of clean overall and I'm super excited about how this came out. So if you guys are interested, head over to my website tyleremorrison.com and you can check that out. I do also want to mention that I have just recently created the the seven trending Elementor designs ebook, and it is available for download for free for joining my email list. So if you're interested in that, check out that link down below in the description and get your hands on a copy of that. Now what that ebook is, is it's basically a collection of seven different styles and designs that I've published videos here about on my channel, but I've compiled it all into a nice ebook. It tells you roughly how long it will take to develop out those designs and also comes with a tutorial video for each different feature and design. So if you guys are interested in that ebook, get your hands on a copy by clicking that link down below in the description. And of course guys, Elementor Pro is a phenomenal plugin. There are a lot of designs design features as well as functionality features that you can integrate right into your website very, very quickly. So if you're interested, check out that link down below, get your hands on Elementor Pro and see what kind of price you can get for it. It really is an incredible plugin. And last but not least guys, be sure and smash that nice red looking subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're not a part of the family, hit it and join the family and ring that bell so you can be notified of upcoming videos just like this one. All right, guys, with no further ado, let's go ahead and jump into my computer and get started. All right, guys, I'm very excited for today's video because we're actually talking about landing pages and I love developing landing pages. The first video I actually ever put out on my channel was about developing a landing page. So it's kind of like full circle here. We're coming back around to the very first topic that I ever talked about. To actually do this, we're gonna need to get into the landing page templates. Now, if you don't have this activated, and you can check by hovering over here under your back end of WordPress under templates, and if you have this landing page right here, if you it says landing pages, you're good to go. If it doesn't, hover over Elementor here and go over to settings, and then under the settings, you'll actually go over to the right tab here, the experiments, scroll down, find landing pages, and make sure it is set to active. Now this is still in beta, so there is you know a slight chance that maybe we'll run into some bugs or something like that, but I really haven't found any kind of issues. Mine was turned off by default, so I wanted to set it to active there. And then we're gonna go back over here to templates, which again is right under the Elementor menu, templates and landing pages. Now you can see down here, I've actually started creating landing pages. I have a few made already, some drafts created, but if you haven't created any landing pages yet, you'll have a green button that says create your first landing page. So you'll click that. If you already have created other landing pages, you can always just come up here and hit add new. So when you click the add new button, it'll actually bring you to the back end of Elementor and come up with kind of this catalog of landing page templates. Now to navigate this catalog, it's very easy. If it has the pro little logo up at the top right, like right here, you can see that. That means it is only for Elementor Pro users. And guys, like I said, I always recommend Elementor Pro because it is just has some fantastic features at a very low price. So click on that link down below and get upgraded today if you're thinking about doing it. I promise you will absolutely love it. And if by some chance you don't, there is always that 30 day money back guarantee, but I really have absolutely loved using Elementor Pro. So as you can see, we have here a lot of different uh, templates here in this catalog, but what we're gonna do is actually go through a few and show you, I wanna show you a few of my very favorites. And if you guys actually wanna join me on this journey and find some favorites as well, you can hover over and when you hover over one of the templates, you can see there's a little heart down here. You can actually click Click that and when you click that it actually will save that template under the my favorite section right here so if I click this we can see we have all of my favorite template layouts right here 
Now in this example and for this tutorial sake, what I am planning on doing with this landing page is let's say I am going to create an incentive and opt people into an email list. Basically how this works is I wanna get people on my email list and to entice them to actually join, I have some kind of incentive to offer them, such as a PDF, an ebook, an instructional video, um, maybe access to a course online, anything that really entices them to join my email list and is an ethical trade-off for you being able to send them emails. Now in this video, I'm not gonna go through how to create that incentive. There's lots of tutorials online of actually how to do that. You could even pull out your phone and film an instructional video and offer that as an incentive. So with that said, let's just look through a few of my favorites here. This is the first one and why I really, really like this landing page is because it is very clean, crisp, minimalistic, but it still has a lot of character. You've got these very bold and powerful titles. I think they're very, you know, they just have a lot of character and you can kind of get the feel of this overall page, this overall website, and this overall company just by looking at this landing page. And that one right there is called Headphones. So if you're looking to use that one, that is a free version. You can go ahead and check that out. Another one I really like is the Real Estate Agency. And this one is powerful. It looks very clean, very crisp. It is very business professional. And look at, I mean, even, I don't know if I can zoom in here very much, but you can see the background has these little tiny dots. It almost feels like, um, kind of like construction oriented, like, you know, this is really like fancy high-end real estate, and it just has this very clean, crisp, overall feel. Now, one thing I do want to mention about this template is the highlight of this template is definitely this image. The title doesn't stand out too much. It's very kind of clean and, and minimalistic, but this image just really just pops off the page. So if you're going to use this template, you definitely want to have a very powerful, clean, crisp, and kind of like futuristic by the design of this house, almost futuristic image. Now what they're actually doing here is collecting information. So this is going to be a multi-step form and I think that's really cool, especially if you're setting appointments or maybe offering a service that you need more information from your customer before they actually purchase. You could use something like this and this template is a very, very fancy design. And that one right there is called the Real Estate Agency. Whew, I had to take my hoodie off. We're getting down to business. Now the next one I really like is called Management App. And when you click on it, you can kind of see here it's just a very basic landing page but it has kind of a powerful message and I what I really really like about this is this list right here they have that color that accent color that is in the background of their website but also they have it on these icons right here and this list just really pops off the screen all right, I'm just gonna show you two more here, and these again are all pro designs. And like I said, this uh, the first one here, this headphones one was a free design, but all the other ones are gonna be pro design. So if you're interested, that link to Elementor Pro is down below in the description. But this one here, I was kind of concerned because you can see it kind of cuts off here. So it's only, it's got the, these white bars here when you actually look at the preview. But when I actually pulled it up, I was like, oh, it's because it's like a full page layout. Now look at how awesome this actually looks. This is super nice. They've got this fancy kind of background going on, kind of this gradient fade effect, kind of like a darker side, almost like a grayish side over here, faded to a blue on the other side here. But this really, really looks good. It has, you know, everything, a very catchy title that just really pops off the page. It's got their logo up in the top left corner, a, you know, a description of what it is, what kind of describing what the call to action button does or is and then uh, just a very clear, bold act call to action button. And look, they even have sharing this website with friends down below. I thought this was very basic. You don't need really any images. You don't need anything fancy. You just kind of get a background image and then you're good to go. All right, guys, and that brings us to the last one. And this is Photography Coupon. And this is the one I actually want to go ahead and develop out today. And you might think like Photography Coupon, that's kind of a weird one to go ahead and develop. But I think this one will actually work really well for what I'm trying to develop. Now, why I like this one is because we still have our logo here. 
we have kind of like this basic call to action, like you know what you're supposed to do on the page and it's in this kind of like coupon form, um, but there is that really distinct title up top so you know what this coupon actually is for without reading too much into it. I like that the background image is kind of faded and there's, there's not like a lot of um, attention drawn to that background image, but there is attention drawn to this front image. So if you have kind of like a display image of what your product is, your incentive or whatever you're trying to promote with this landing page, if you have an image for it, it is great to have that right up here in front. And then you can go over to maybe even just like royalty free websites such as Pexels or even Unsplash, something like that, and grab a really nice fitting background image and then use that in the background with that fade effect. All right guys, so let's go ahead and just start designing this. Go ahead and hit insert here and we will insert this template right into our page. Boom, we are ready to go. So the first things first is I'm gonna go through and start replacing any images on the page. All right, so now that I've gone ahead and swapped out the photos, I added my logo here, I put in my product image, and then I went ahead and swapped out the background. So what we're gonna do now is actually change up these colors of the button here, of the text here, and switch it more to our brand colors. So the first adjustment I made is the background color of this box here. I went ahead and switched it over to a little bit of a softer white, which is the same white that is in the background of my product image. Once I had that done, I had a little bit of more white background here that was just a little off, so I went ahead and set the column background color to that off-white as well. As you can see, things are starting to come together more and more by each little adjustment I make. All right, now to actually align the image to the center, I went over here to the column settings and over to layout and vertical align middle. Then I went ahead and actually clicked on this section right here, the entire coupon section, went over to border and then changed the color to my brand color. That just gives it kind of that added border around the edge. It's not necessary, but kind of nice and kind of makes it feel like this coupon type feel. Now next, what I'm actually gonna do is go ahead and replace all this text with my own content. Now what I'm gonna actually do is go ahead and change the call to action button to be a little bit more fitting. And to change that actual text, I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit, go over to content, and then I'll look for the text right here and change that. And lastly, I just went ahead and updated this offer ends date, and that's pretty much it, guys. That part is optional. You can always make other changes, design whatever you want, on this page, but the last thing I'm actually gonna do here is just add a copyright instead of this menu. All right guys, I went ahead and made a last few little tiny adjustments such as the copyright date, moving the margin of this, the top margin was set to 70, I brought it up to 40, so it slid the whole coupon up just a little bit, and lastly, we're just gonna go ahead and hit publish and take a look at this page. I'm super excited about how easy this was. Look at how good that looks. Just by replacing my content, replacing the images, changing my colors to the brand colors that I'm actually gonna be using, and uh, just that easy, it looks really, really great. Now obviously, if you're gonna be collecting information here, you'll wanna add a form here, not just a call to action button, but for this tutorial and for this sake, I really think this came out very, very nice, and it really did not take me that long, and it's thanks to Elementor's landing page templates. Now again guys, this is a pro template. So if you're looking to use this exact template that I just used, this is a pro template. And if you're interested in upgrading to Elementor Pro at any time, be sure and check out that link down below in the description. See what kind of price you can get for it. It really is a phenomenal plugin. And of course guys, in this landing page tutorial and example, we talked about this seven trending Elementor Designs ebook. If you're interested in getting a copy of that ebook, you can actually click on the link down below in the description and get your hands, virtual hands, on a copy of that ebook. And last but not least, guys, please be sure and hit that nice red look and subscribe button. Join the family, be notified of upcoming videos just like this one by tapping that little bell icon. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys have any questions, be sure and drop them down below in the comment section. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.